Dr. Burhonsky Vladislav Valerievich from Ukraine, so, member of Ukraine and International uh, Professional Dental uh, Associations, um, one of the authors of uh, Practical Menu, Modern Aspects of Treatment and Rehabilitation in Dentistry, holder of uh, dentistry seminars and hands-on sessions, certified speaker of uh, Army and IBS Implant Korea. Dr. Burhonsky, can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Uh, nice to see you. But how to show my presentation? Do you hear? Do uh, yeah, we can my... hear you, but we still didn't see your presentation. Yes. And now? Yes, we do. Crystal clear. Hello, great greetings from Kiev, Ukraine, and today we begin with attack uh, and today we begins with the implant magicor and soft tissue on this slide you can see the perfect combination of soft tissue and the crown and this slide shows us the inflammatory process that come after the operation with the suprastructures. This is the evolution of periimplantitis. And now it's a negative scenario for the patient and for the doctor. In the result, we come to understanding um, of the importance of biological words and of soft tissue near the implant. Implant Magicor gives us opportunity to save soft tissue and to prevent us from bone atrophy. As you can see, uh, bone level implant, we can compare bone level implants with magic core. And uh, we can see that the bone level implants uh, get a deep pocket in which uh, begin inflammatory area and it will be uh, in the middle of this inflammatory area will be connective tissue and as a result um, this will be accelerate of uh, accelerate of aging of periodontium and soft tissue atrophy will go on and go on will infl inflammation around the implant and uh, on the right side, you can see implant magic core and uh, with the variable ways of the neck. And uh, we receive there a good connective tissue and as a result, healthy periodontal condition, which is similar to the periodontal condition of the teenagers. On this side, uh, over to IBS company, uh, we have an implant with different neck lengths and uh, it can be used in difficult, different clinical cases, combinating different neck with the different uh, situa clinical situation of the bone. And uh, we have a uh, neck of two, three, four and five millimeters. And now let's look at the response of soft tissue to the implantation with the conven conventional uh, bone level implants and compare it with the response of soft tissue of the Magicor implant. And when we install the implant uh, and after our work with the various version of suprastructures, uh, 
epithelium can penetrate soft tissue near the implant and epithelium move along the surface of implant and as a result the area of connection of soft tissue and the implant reduced. And implant magic core saved us from all with negative perspectives. In the implant magic core, we receive complete adhesion of the epithelium and connective tissue. And the biological waste is completely preserved. That means that biotype does not change in any way. And even it become more better and uh, denser. In uh, convenient bone level implants, uh, we have such problem as uh, micromobility of the crown, which is uh, become as a result of chewing pressure. And it uh, forms so-called pump effect. And here on this slide you can uh, see it. And it is the one of the case of periimplantitis. It's uh, bone level implants. And now Medjugorje completely devoid us from such negative aspects. On this uh, slide we can see uh, the exam example of thinning of soft tissue around the crown. And uh, these small slides showing different prosthetic stages of the relationship between the implant magic core and the bone. And we can see stability of bone structure for a long period of time. So we can understand the conditions that are necessary to prevent changes in gums and uh, you can read them uh, on uh, this slide uh, maybe without of my brutal accent. And now it is a small clinical example. It is 48 years old woman. Implantation is planned in area from 12 till 24 teeth. It is a clinical situation from different points of view. Now pay attention to the condition of soft tissue and to the condition of the bone. Here we have section of computer tomography which show a combination of implants and bone structure. And uh, we can see how the implant clearly combinate with the bone and uh, performed by the bone structure. And the neck of the implant uh, continues the bone and uh, becomes the basic to develop and retention the soft tissue. And each of the implants harmoniously located in its place. This is the clinical picture after the manipulation. And also you can see the plastic surgery of frenulum uh, upper of the upper lip. It is a week after the manipulation, one week. It is a stage of temporary prosthetics. It, we can see the good condition of the soft tissue here and uh, 
a harmony combinate of pink and white aesthetics. It is after five months and we can see the bone structure uh, stable around the each of the implant. Six months clinical situation. It is after nine months. X-ray picture shows us complete stability and uh, now it will be next implant. Next. And uh, clinical situation, nine months. And uh, IBS company offer us maybe it's an ideal implant for working with bone and soft structure and uh, here you also can see advantages of magic core and previous lectures show you this picture and now you can also read yourself all advantages of magic core without my accent Next topic of our presentation for today is the magical and the corner crowns. It's a picture and we look a little into the past. And now again, we must think that we standing on the shoulders of our fathers and fathers of our fathers and uh, we, we see in, in the left top the ivory implants made many centuries ago and uh, also we can see bone tools and uh, in the bottom we can see an implant used for a long time in ukraine dentistry on this slide um, I want to show you a different view to the same subjects. For example, it's a view, one of the views of on our planet. It's another view. Maybe it's a view from Seoul, maybe from Hanoi. It is maybe from Ukraine. And uh, now we are going to the difficulties that arise in bone level implants with the soft tissues. And uh, how are they solved uh, with the help of modern implants? In uh, most cases, uh, the abutments has a height of not the less four millimeters and uh, often it's not harmonized with uh, different shapes and size of crown. Also, that can be bite orientate, bite orientate implant is on the left side of uh, this slide. And uh, on the right side is uh, existing from the bone orientate. And what happens with active cone implants in this situation? The implants are the, and the, the majority of the modern implants on the market. And they have an overstrain of the lower part of the body and due to overload of the cone. But, um, and ABS company formulate for itself um, maxima that all connections must be strong. It's a maxima of IBS company. And uh, they make an implant magic core and uh, the magic core solved all these problems.
and uh, Magic Core implant has a minimum uh, abutment height on the market, and it's a uh, it has a variable length of the transgingival transgingival part. Due to single body connection of the implant with the abutment, there is no possibility to formation a micro gap and to penetrate it with microflora and to develop of the inflammation in implant magic core. The connection of the abutment with the ground is stimulationly external and internal. And this has important conveniences. Uh, see how the magic core looks on the cut. The connection is integral. On the slide, uh, it is compare magic core implant with the bone level implant. And uh, abutment size reduced. And it is a great opportunity to change the inclination of crown. And uh, now it is up to. Uh, 50 degrees versus 35 degrees at the bone level implants. And it's no problems with the lateral forces, loosening of the crown, and uh, is this, this problems with the bone level implants. It is, uh, this slide illustrates us the um, direction of the force in a magical implant. In, there is no risk of, of fracture and the magical implant is suitable both for the cement and the screw fixation. This slide shows an example of combination of bone offering and magical implants. It may seem that uh, distal implant in the first quadrant is too angled, but this is an attempt to avoid uh, long and difficult uh, manipulation in with the sinus it's a uh, imprinting stage and final configuration and this configuration is absolutely functional next uh, our topic is combination of magic core and narrow ridge. Different atrophy questions and uh, there's very difficult and controversial answers. GBR, Tamiya, design changes. Also different questions. And one easy answer. And it, this answer as is magic core. And uh, also, we had to remember that functionally of orthopedics uh, depends on the surface of uh, implants and bone structures. And uh, and this is characteristic of the effects of the triangular third on the bone during implantation. The internal bone is surely in, injured and it's complete resorbed with a long partial restoration. That means that we need bone waste more than two or more, more of the two millimeters larger than the diameter of the implant and uh, uh, if we want to install millimeter uh, four millimeters implant we need bone at least six millimeters uh, IBS company 
made a study and found that the ideal combination of physical properties of the interturn bonds and titanium uh, is one to eight. Uh, that is, if you take a thickness of uh, rose is about uh, 10 hundreds of millimeter, you uh, need the step, interturn step about a millimeter. And uh, magic core thread uh, don't destroy it, the interturn bone, and uh, we can calculate here uh, the diameter of implant which we need to uh, this this bone, and it means that in case of four millimeter, we need only uh, five, nearly five millimeter of the bone. And uh, here we see that the magical implants holds uh, the load along all its length and all its surface in functional, is functional. And the area of biological contacts with bone is larger than in, of some the implants of bone level. Thanks to this, we can use a narrow implant. At the same time, we remember that we have a variable neck length. And uh, which we can select from for the different cases and combinations of hard and soft tissue. And our implant maximally matches to the various shape of the bone. Here's the same cases but now we will consider it from the point of view of a narrow bone and uh, let's look to the area of 12 teeth the bone is about four millimeters and we see the installed implant with a diameter of three and a half millimeter Thank you, that's all for today, and this is the view of CU, and it's my beautiful view of CU, it's my favorite city, where I have a lot of friends. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Boronsky, that was a really nice. Actually, I would like to really like personally thank you for sharing us that there can be different approaches and different views on one single subject. And your way of approach, really, it was something that really touched me. <laughs> thank you very much. And I hope we will be able to meet you soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues, hope I can call you that now. Uh, thank you for attending our course today. Uh, make sure to leave your contact information in a chat session with your full name and email address so that we can be able to invite you to on and off seminars in near future. Also, uh, once again, I would like to thank all of our speakers for sharing their time and uh, giving us lectures of, on minimally invasive implant treatment. We are planning to have more uh, lectures, uh, more uh, procedures, more uh, surgical techniques. So let's keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Mr. Ken.